What's up, guys? Play more of that Bahamut Bunny. And I opened up with the best play. And he says, I hope you weren't trolly like my last two opponents. And I, I didn't think I would be, right? And he's playing Photons, I find out now. And I was like, no, this deck's just pretty aggressive. And then I look at my hand, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna troll you hard. You're about to see one of the funniest plays ever. And this guy gets so mad about it. He, tr he acts like he's staying calm, but I could tell he's just salty. I try not to push through back row when I do this, but you know... I just didn't care. Uh, you're gonna see the play next turn, because I just pushed for it. And I opened up double Kabuzels, which is bad. Because I, I can't go into Lagia with Rabbit. But I don't want to go into Lagia because I have this busted play. He doesn't know what I'm gonna do. And I opened up Gaga Giga, so I was thinking about stalling on this play. I was like, nope, have to do it now, because if I draw into another Gaga Giga, I can't do it. So he's like, oh god, Dino Rabbits. And I was like, not Dino Rabbit. <laughs> I think he even says, oh god. <laughs> he does. So, uh, I trigger Rabbit's effect. Doesn't have anything to stop it. And this is where people go, I'm sorry, what? When I summon two Gaga Gigo, which I'm gonna read, Young Yulidor used to have an evil heart, but by meeting a special person, he, dis person, he discovered justice. There's a whole story about Gaga Gigo, and I want to learn it, because I, I use the card. He has a connection to some other card. And I'm like, do I push? And I was like, yes, I push. So I make Bahamut Shark. And I'm I'm just praying he can't do anything to it. That is my prayer. So I'm like, do I activate its effect? Or do I attack? And I'm like, battle phase. Uh, uh, oh, oh. These just sounds I'm making when I'm doing this. And I'm like, no, effect. And this is the play. A detach because you have to. So uh, he can do any special summon any rank three or lower. If you don't know, Acid Golem cannot attack while he has no Xyz material, and you can't special summon while he's on your side of the field. So I special summon Acid Golem, and then creature swap into my opponent's side of the field. That way, every standby phase, since he cannot detach from Acid Golem, he's gonna lose 2,000, and he can't special summon, <laughs> which is just funny. And he can't attack. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't mean to troll this guy, but I just kind of had to. I did have two worries. Oh, that ended up being MST. I did have two worries. One, that he was going to sack two for Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I don't know if you can do that, but because I don't know photons that well. But that would have that would have been sad. <laughs> and then also that he was playing Skill Drain in his Photon deck, which I thought. I thought Photons did play Skill Drain, so I wouldn't be surprised. But, uh, he gets really salty about this whole thing in a little bit. He thinks he still has a chance. He's like, yeah, Photon Saber Tigers. I'm like, okay, don't play Baylor. I think I tech a Maxi. Or, I don't tech anything, actually. I don't know. I, no, I don't play any hand traps in this deck. I side. I don't have a side deck yet. But I would side two Baylor, two Maxi, because I don't want to lose to Wind Up if I were to ever build this deck, but I would build this deck if Tin Plate Goldfish was TCG. I'm really hoping Tin Plate Goldfish is a uh, uh, TCG import during Cosmo Blazer. So he tries to go for Zed Mains, thinking he can attack into Bahamut and then pop Acid Golem, but you can't special summon because of Acid. <sighs> Which isn't fair, you know. I feel bad that I did this. I might have been kind of a jerk to him. But he was just salty and didn't want to admit it. So those guys both have 2,000 attack. Thrasher has a uh, 2,100, and he's like, "Yeah, I've lost." And I'm like, "Do you want to just concede defeat and this for everybody?" And he's like, "No, I'm gonna fight through it." So I'm like, "All right, you know." So I thought about not attacking those two saber tigers because I wanted to win by just burning acid golem, but I, I end up deciding against it. So I summon my Caboozles and overlay with Thrasher. For something that with the big. Oh, I overlay for Utopia. A gunman. Do I? No. No. It's kind of like a cowboy. I always say gunman. But I make Utopia. And uh, I have to attack over those Saber Tigers because I don't want them to sack two for uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I imagine you can still sack one for Photon Slayer. I think that's a card. But now, I set my Starlight, because even if he Dark Holes, I'm like, sorry, Starlight, you have to keep that. 
And then, you know, like, I figured at this point, I was like, yeah, and then he MSTs it. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and by the way, I forgot to use Bahamut Sharks to that last turn, which I should have done. And, uh, I do cut away at one point when he's just getting all salty and just typing to me. Just angry things. You know, can't let that stuff probably. Nah, I scroll over Bahamut, like, wait, I forgot to use his effect. But it, it's not going to change the outcome of this game. I mean, come on, man. For the love of Yu-Gi-Oh, never do this combo again. And I ba he tells me that this strategy sucks. I'm like, this deck wins all the time without doing this. This is honestly the first time I've ever done it. And he's like, then don't do it. I'm like, why wouldn't I when you can do such a funny way to win? And he's like, it's so cheap. And like, so is Wind Up Magician, Wind Up Shark. <laughs> uh... And it's not the easiest thing to pull off. Like, what other deck do you know that actually does it? And I actually say so is Wind Up Magician, Wind Up Shark. Like, that's even more busted. You win every game. He's just checking his deck several times, which is illegal. And he's doing his deck to see if, like, he can search Dark Hole. But I guess not. And that's the game. He's really salty, but that's it. Uh, House Dust on. Signing out.